Before you begin coloring an image, you must be on the volume view, as the other two modes covered in the previous video will not allow coloring. On the left side, there is the transfer function editor. Here, by clicking on the drop down menu, there's various options available. The options are R, G, and B, which refer to the red, green, and blue curves. Opacity, which changes how much light is showing through a region. And L, which is light, which increases how bright each voxel is shining. By using these different channels, you can add color or adjust which regions you wish to highlight in your object. Let's start with opacity. If you click on the diagonal purple line below, you will create a marker that you can drag to adjust the curve. Notice as I drag the curve to the bottom right, the lower density material, such as air or cardboard, is removed. That is because the gray curve you see in the background shows how much material is a specific density. Low density material is on the left, and high density material is on the right. You can adjust the curve to bring out certain aspects of the object. What works well for most objects is to create an S-curve. This removes any low density materials, such as packing material, and brings out important features of the object. Now let's add color. Each of the red, green, and blue curves are independent and are adjusted the same as the opacity curve. By overlapping the different curves and creating multiple points, you can create unique color combinations. This will take some time to get used to, so play around with the different colors. If you have trouble, think of the color wheel and how combinations of colors are made. This can help you decide which colors you want for different density regions of your object. Once you have finished creating a color palette, it is best to save the transfer function. This will allow the coloring to automatically reload when the dataset is reopened. That's all there is. Check out our next video on how to create lighting effects.